Alright, I said to you guys that Breaking Bad was one of my all-time favorite TV shows and that still stands up to today. So, suffice to say, I was very excited when the show Better Call Saul was going to be made or announced to be made and the first season just concluded last night. Now, spoiler alert, if you didn't see the show, I'm going to be talking about major plot points and stuff like that. So if you don't want the show ruined or you didn't watch the final episode, don't watch this video. Obviously, I shouldn't need to explain that to you. Anyways, put the old Breaking Bad t-shirt on last night, sat down, watched Better Call Saul. Leading up to this episode, um, I was very satisfied. Very, very, very satisfied with this show because I didn't want to compare it to Breaking Bad, you know, identically, but this show exceeded my expectations. I didn't want to say, like, oh, this is definitely, this is going to be better than Breaking Bad. I mean, they, the, the, the writers have, you know, their minds well-tuned and they're more sharp on the point and all that shit. This show exceeded my expectations. And as a Breaking Bad fan, I am absolutely 100% satisfied with this first season. However, this first episode, this, this final episode last night, in some ways, I felt kind of disappointed, but in other ways, I felt a lot more promising going into the future of the show here. The reason why I feel disappointed is it may not be fair to rank Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul against each other, but if you look at what they did in the first season of Breaking Bad and comparatively contrast that with the first season of what they did in Better Call Saul, Breaking Bad did such a better job of creating and showing two characters that basically go bad, for lack of a better term. Uh, with Walter White, he's just like, you know, just a, a Johnny Nobody school teacher, chemistry teacher. And there's a series of events in his life that logically explain his ultimate choice of becoming a meth manufacturer. Uh, methamphetamine manufacturer, to use the full name. And you go from this whole con you go, go from this whole progression of straight edge family man to I don't give a shit, I'm gonna have to do what I gotta do, and I don't care if I have to make illegal illicit drugs to do so. And logically explain that in the middle. Whereas with Better Call Saul. Saul is kind of a smarmy individual, your smarmy type lawyer, and it explains his wrongdoings in the past, the whole slipping Jimmy shit. But the thing is, he never really goes bad. He is pretty much a good guy. Yeah, he does some slipping Jimmy stuff, like especially in that season finale last night. He goes back to conning people and, you know, misdemeanor type shits and type shit in the grand scheme of things. But you never really see him go all out bad. Now, I know what you're gonna say, you're gonna say, oh, well, you see the progression to that and he basically snaps in the final minute where he's saying to Mike, you know, he's he's gonna be, you know, never the good guy again in essence, um, when he's talking to Mike in that toll booth at the police station. But when you look at the number of episodes, I think there was about six more episodes in Better Call Saul in the first season than Breaking Bad. It just felt like last night's finale should have been one of the filler episodes more towards the middle. And see, that's the thing. It, it, it's not like it was a bad finale. It just, going from Breaking Bad to this, it felt like there was a little something missing and we should have seen Saul go all out bad guy lawyer that you end up seeing him be in in Breaking Bad. Now, granted, they're probably going to try to stretch this to five seasons, so, you know, I'm not going to explain to tell the writers how to do their jobs or anything like that, and they may have, you know, a specific set of plot points that they don't want issued until seasons go on and whatnot. But, again, just looking at Breaking Bad versus uh, Better Call Saul, you, you just, you just got so much more with, with so much less content. I felt, and it's not saying Better Call Saul was bad, 
because it was good. This was a good, solid first season. Fully developed characters. One little weird thing is I really wish they would have addressed how Chuck goes from this highly respected lawyer, a lawyer to which his peers think he should be arguing in front of the Supreme Court, like when the Sandpiper lawyer comes over Chuck's house um, to talk over the potential fraud case with the Sandpiper uh, retirement facility. And Chuck goes from this prestigious, very intelligent, thoroughly knowledged lawyer to having some sort of psychosis, phobia, whatever, over electricity. And they never really explained, uh, unless I missed something, <laughs> they never really explained how he got this debilitating sickness in his mind. And I'm like, that is really something that you should have addressed in this first season. Because it was a really silly thing. And, uh, uh, like, I spent the whole season just going like, why is Chuck acting like this? Like, what, how did, how does one develop this? Like, I can, I, I, you know, you stretch your realm of plausibility and reality when you watch a TV show, obviously. But I'm like, this is one of the most silly, ridiculous storylines I've seen on a television show. And they should have really explained that. Like, did he have like a bad incident? Like where he, he touched the toaster with a wet hand or something? Like, like what happened? Like, what happened? And that was never explained. That was one thing I was just like, I really wish they would have delved into that a little more because they developed Chuck's character so much and just kind of left that hanging. Um, and we all know that it ends up being a fake thing because obviously he walks out in the sun when he's getting the paper out of out of, of Jimmy's trunk. And he, like, Jimmy's like, hey, so what are you doing, Chuck? And he's like, oh! And they realize he's outside and he drops the box. Anyway, really wish that would have been addressed more. But... All in all, as a fan of Breaking Bad, this was a this was a great first season, and I was, I was I was not going to be surprised going into Better Call Saul. I said to myself, I was like, you know what? I'll be surprised if I watch a few episodes of this and just go, oh, it's not really that good. It's not someone I want to devote an hour of my life to every week. But as of right now, I am so excited to see the second season of this show, and that's exactly how I wanted to feel coming out of this first season. So, anyways, the show is great, explaining the backstory of Mike a lot more, and the fact that he's from Philly, represent, um, and explaining him his days as a Philly cop, and how he, in essence, turned bad. Uh, or, well, actually, I guess he was technically a bad cop, so he just turned to a worser character, if you want, if you will. But, uh, so much stuff. You see Tuco in the very first episode. Um, <laughs> the the one thing that's going to be kind of... Uh, uh, and then that's what happens with like a, a prequel series like this. The one thing that's going to be kind of um, a, a detriment to the show is you know certain characters aren't going to die if they're in situations where their life is compromised, like Saul, like Mike, like Tuco. We know, like, you know, any point in the show their lives are threatened, we know they have to live on because obviously they're in Breaking Bad. But that aside, uh, the writers did an excellent job on this. Uh, I, I fully give my approval of this show. If you've never seen Breaking Bad, you know, it's kind of interesting because I thought about something last night. Um, if I have kids someday and I say, you know, I want to show you one of the, the, my favorite shows from when I was growing up in my wee years. Anyway, would I show them... Breaking Bad first, or Better Call Saul, because Better Call Saul is basically the prequel to Breaking Bad. So, should I show them Saul first? But then again, I was like, I was like, well, Saul might, you know, give spoilers. Like, it may do a flash forward beyond Breaking Bad, like you did see in that first episode with Saul working at the Cinnabon store. Um, that's obviously a flash after. Is that a phrase? A flash after? A look after Breaking Bad concluded. So the Saul storyline is jumping all over the place. It's jumping before Saul when it shows that slipping Jimmy stuff, during Saul and post Saul with the showing Saul working at the Cinnabon. Anyways, talked on long enough, but I love this show. Um, I fully, fully, fully am anticipating season two. Anyways, um, 
Were you guys overly impressed with Better Call Saul? Do you think it's better than Breaking Bad? I'm sure some of you are going to say that. Uh, is there anything you wish was done differently in this first season? Like I said, I wish Chuck would have been explained a lot more. I wish we really would have seen bad lawyer Saul in this first season. But again, you know, the, I'm not going to knock the writers till I see the finished product in totality because this is something that could, you know, pay off better as the show goes on. But do I think it's as good as Breaking Bad? No. But it ain't that far off. Again, I'm looking forward to season two. Hope you are too. Hope you enjoyed this review if you are a fan of the show. And we'll see you guys again here at the end of season two. Even though I'm going to make a video right after this one right here. You'll see me again from there. Have a good day, everyone.